Exploration Day 4. Hello mates, H. Nickel here, and after that dumb moment right there, we are now in... <gasps> Distant Tundurp. What? Expect me to make a better pun off of that? Brilliant, Alf! You expanded the Drake's receiver range! Aw, oh, thanks. Now it's call me the keen engineer for nothing. Nobody calls you that. I know. The origin of that signal is unclear. Good save. Maybe it's the captain. We should investigate this at once. Never say that again, Brittany. Good idea, Alf. Let's do it. Check in. So the memo data file we found was left behind by someone from the planet Hokitate. Correct. I wonder how Hokitashians would fare on this planet. They're vegetarians, you know. Vegetarians? Does that mean what I think it means? If you think that they don't eat meat, then yes. Hokitate is well known for its big, big carrots. I tried them once and they were kind of gross. You ate vegetables? I can hardly believe it. It was my duty as a botanist, but those carrots aren't really suited to the cop cop copite palate. Bleh. Right, but if we ate vegetables, maybe we wouldn't have to travel 279,000 light years to get food. Just saying. And now, we land in the distant tundra. If you remember correctly, this is where Charlie is. So, hope for the best. A triumphant music once again? Oh. Way to go, Alf. Good flying there. Ow, 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 ow. My face. Alfie, you okay? Uh, Alfie, I said, are you okay? Ah, oh, man, don't tell me you've been separated again. Here we are, and, uh, what's that noise? Oh, there we are. There's something strange with these Pikmin. Yellow Pikmin. What are these Pikmin doing? Pikmin sprouts? Shkabam! So nice, I had to do backflips. The light is so bright. So onions use light to live. That makes sense. Is this another onion? I guess they must need light to. Yeah. Coolio. Yellow Pikmin oh, can conduct electricity. How cool is that? Also, you notice that that Pikmin went really high up in the air right there. Yellow Pikmin actually have humongous range when it comes to throwing. And if you haven't realized, we're going to need a lot of Pikmin if we want to get out of here. That little ball, that little weight right there, we need 20 Pikmin in order to push that, if that wasn't obvious. Also, as you can see here, we have Flower Pikmin. Yeah. I forgot to mention this. If a Pikmin has a bud on it instead of a leaf... That Pikmin can move things faster and will make less mistakes, such as tripping over or etc. And same goes for a flower. It makes it move even faster and under the same circumstances that I mentioned earlier. No tripping, etc. So, yeah. They'll follow you in a much faster rate. That's one of the more obvious things. And remember I said Pikmin have really good throwing range? Well, this message is it right here. Ta da I'm not gonna lie, I actually kinda like Yellow Pikmin in this game. They've been rather useless in previous titles. But in this one they're good. Also remember I said that Pikmin, you know, can't swim. Bull crap. <laughs> okay, I get I guess that's kinda steam in a way, but that's still water when you think about it. In fact that's exactly what it is. There's no excuse, god dang it. 
Oh, and speaking of, speaking of the whole flower thing I mentioned earlier, it actually carried Pikmin in the proper order of leaf or flower, bud, leaf. And this should be the last one. 24, 25. Nice and fancy. Now I want to be careful that you make exactly 20 on this. Otherwise, your pigman might actually get hurt by the ball and can die in a scripted cutscene. So, yeah, good luck with that. Anyway, we made a nice opening in the cave. And... Whew, it's good to be outside again. I was getting claustrophobic in that cave. Hey, there's Alf, and the SS Drake. Phone time. Alf, I'm over here. Ah, Brittany. Thank goodness you're okay. I see you on the other side of the river. Our first priority is to reunite, so let's work together. Press minus when you want to hand over the control. Got it. Oh, yeah. This place is absolutely freezing. If we don't move, I'm afraid we're going to die of exposure. That is, if we don't die of starvation first. Well, that's kind of graphic. I don't care if it's E10 or not. Guess what? I found a type of Pikmin. Really? Well, guess what? I have exactly twice as many as you, Brittany. So, yeah. They're yellow with big ears. I'd love a closer look. No problem. I just have to find a place to... where I can throw them to you. There we go. That's what you said. I can't wait for that not-so-instant replay to play on. And there is a new enemy here in the distant tundra, as would be probably presumed. Um, here's... Oh, hello. Aha! If I throw them from here, blah, 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 blah. While locked on, attack with the nunchuck and cancel the lock on with Z. Uh, yeah, sure. Woohoo! And we're gonna do just that. Brittany, I'll give let you give him ooh. Get him! Swooping snitch bug. One of the first new enemies you'll see here. Yeah, you do your thing, okay? I'll give him 10. 15 will do, never mind. So, I'm going to pass over a few rocks to Brittany. There you go, she should have... Yeah, she should have 22 in your group. Because I'm, if I'm right, there is... Oh yeah, let, let's get our... Yellow's on this thing. Trust me, you'll see what I mean later with that. And let's get Alpha over here to disband his big man and get his yellows out. This guy is annoying. No, I'm not lying. I really don't like these enemies at all. Um, oh, hello, fruit. I can't see. Cool. Bearded and Brett. Goodbye. Him having electricity on his side would be a problem to us, but with the power of yellows, it's not, really. Let's get back to Brittany over here. And, yeah, open this crystal here. Oh, crap. Better go after them. And if I'm right, yeah, here's where the stuff is. And I would highly suggest um, going back for the reds. Because that what you just saw there was the joust mite. Um, yeah, I gotta go back for those reds. Uh, 
Um, I believe if we break down this wall here. Cool. I'm usually not good with the first aid of the distant tundra, so don't get upset if I don't do very well in this first one. Okay, so we're going to go over here and get some yellows out. Hey, that wall is, is down now. Two, three, four. Cool, yeah. Get all of our yellows back in our group. And down we go. I didn't leave me behind. Cool. Actually, I got to remember that for later because once I get all my stuff together, um, I will need to bring rocks back there. Trust me, you'll see later. I already know that noise. That's the noise of near death. It's very quiet around here. Don't you agree? It's kind of soothing music in a way. Okay, so what I wanted to do here was... um. Really? Amateurs. Sheesh. So what I want to do here is get all my reds together in one spot. And... Did I say rocks, though? Behold the Jow's Might! It is a formidable enemy, to say the least. Kill it! Kill it! <clears throat> Dang, I could have prevented that, too. Okay. He's dead. Now his awkward cousin over here. He's going to try to attack ASAP. Rush him, please! God, I hate these things so much. They're so stupid. Lost two to him, really? <sighs> Joust Knights. I should have focused on reds a bit more. Okay, good. That should be everything. Unless there's something up here that I'm missing. Uh, I'll get some yellows up here. What the heck's going on up there? I think I want Alf to do the next part here. I'm not sure what exactly happened there. I think I did something though. Here, let me look. That bridge ain't complete yet, so. Brittany, you wanna get your yells back down here? And, okay, that's what that noise was. Okay, so reds and rocks, y'all get down here. And. For the time being, I'll let Brittany get her way back over here. What was up there anyway? Ah, uh, it was a fruit. That makes sense. Actually, I think that's about it for this episode, come to think of it. Not much got done here. So, as per usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.